Jingoism. I can cancel those right off. And we're approaching 1863. Coalition of parties. Conservative and reactionary. Got the vote. We have repay debts on Luca. I don't care about Luca. I barely remember them and there's some irrelevant country that no one gives a damn about. Honestly. Yes, they really are that irrelevant. I'm not kidding. Crisis averted. Argentina and Burma go to war with someone. No, Argentina and Burma are not going to war with each other. That would be ridiculous. One is in South America and one is in Southeast Asia. They probably don't even know the other exists. So it would be completely ridiculous to suggest that two of them would be going to war. More prestige. We're losing militancy in Cuba. That's nice. Maybe I'll be able to keep Cuba under my control. <laughs> Let's see. Greece fears us. Prices rise. Luca fears Modena. The Netherlands is thinking about establishing their version of Australia. Siam wants military access. No. And the British have colonized the whole of Australia and released New Zealand as a commonwealth. Now we keep on waiting. And so I'm just waiting for research to finish and for another seven years to pass, there's really nothing for me to do at the moment. We're in one of the slow periods of the game. During which all I can do is sit and wait. Let me see here. Among other things, I'm waiting for my infamy to drop. I could probably take Java in a war, and I'm thinking they're one of the next people I'm going to establish protectorate over. In fact, yeah, I'm going to go ahead with that. Establish protectorate on Java. And I'm going to move my people over here so they're closer by. When I get closer to having my claim on Java, then I will raise my military spending. And yes, they're an evil menace coming right for us. Java, they are a terrible threat to Spanish national security. They want to conquer us. We must stop them. And other propaganda like that. And I'm going to research new artillery now.
Philippine nationalists. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, that certainly answered my question. Uh, the Philippines is getting to be pretty much a nightmare to deal with. The Philippines is going to be an absolute nightmare to deal with. So I think we're going to have to make them a commonwealth. And what's this about Germany? Has it formed? Yes, it has. But Bavaria is still a thing. As is Württemberg and Saxony. And France still has the provinces of Alsace and Lorraine. France still has Alsace and Lorraine. We have that. Now we crush them. Okay, Germany, you can have military access. And I'm going to attack these dirty, dirty rebels. And oh damn it. One of the places that I lo uh, units I lost troops from had to be one of the ones that can't replenish. Or can't it? Apparently it can. Okay. off the coast of Java, and I want to get a look at them. Oh no, we can't take that. Fucking 28,000 ground troops. We're not fighting that. 15,000 in Atje. That's Portuguese. So, no chance in hell. I thought I could grab a quick colony in the Pacific or something, but no. They ridiculously outnumber me. There is no chance in hell of that happening, I'm afraid. And we will go one step further on the artillery. Alrighty. And I'm going to drop my military spending. And my national stockpile. Uh, Germany and the Russian Empire aren't getting along, apparently. And... Mm. 
Let me see here. <laughs> Release the Philippines as a dominion. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yes, release the Philippines as a dominion because I don't really need the in the whole colonial range thing they give me right now because I have these other colonies. And and if they rebelled again, it would just be an, a colossal pain to get troops out to them to crush, crush that rebellion. So, I just think it's better to have them as a dominion. I rule them as a satellite and all, and they are not going to be rebelling against me, because they're tiny and they have their independence, technically. So, I can deal with that. Coralist Rebels. In... Cuba and Morocco. And there is absolutely no way I am releasing either Cuba or Morocco as dominions. We can produce a new type of warship, but I don't really care right now. All I really care about is making these rebels very, very dead. Where did those ones in Morocco go? That's what I want to know. There we are. And I can now drop my military spending yet again. Sicily is afraid of the Papal States, and we crush some rebels. Not really a whole lot of interesting in the newspaper nowadays. Carlist rebels and Spanish and narco liberals are the only ones we have. I'm going to keep going for another couple of years. And I'm going to expand my rail network a bit more. Minus three because of it being in mountains. There's a few places I can build in now, fortunately. Railroads all across the mainland Spain. That's my current goal. I need a bit more technology to get it in a couple of places, though. But I was 
be satisfied with that for now. And none of that mattered. Oh, so there was an anti-foreign revolt in Egypt. I don't really care, to be perfectly honest. So now, while I'm waiting for something interesting to happen, I'll take a little stroll around the map. As you can see, Scandinavia still has their standard territory. Russia is as large as ever, despite the loss of Poland. China's still in about a billion different pieces. No. Indochina's the same. Australia's been fully colonized. New Zealand's independent. South America's the same. Mexico's an empire. And as you can see, we have British Canada and Russian Canada. And Russia still has Alaska. War between Brazil and Argentina. And Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. All standard stuff, I think. Not really anything else for us to look at, honestly. And France is afraid of Germany. And they're very industrialized by now. I want my territories connected. I think having railroads makes it easier to move troops around, but I don't actually know this for sure. So don't quote me on that. Uh, let me see. I need better railroads to be able to build there. But that'll have most of Cuba connected. And this is the bulk of our Malaysian territory connected by rails. And we have one more there, and then that'll be all of it, for the time being. I was originally hoping to be able to conquer some stuff over here in the Middle East, but... I have a pretty small army, and, and they're all allied with each other, so... That would make that extremely difficult for me to actually pull off. So for the time being, I'm just going to hold off on that until I get my economy in working order, if I ever manage that, or until I can get a bigger army, which would require me to have my economy in working order again, or be willing to go bankrupt. We finished that research, so time to move on to another one. Military plans. Uh, we continue researching this, I think.